Another beautiful morning down here on Palm Beach with surfers, swimmers, walkers and fishos all enjoying this golden stretch. Palm Beach, like all our beaches, is a natural asset loved by locals, the wider community and visitors. The foreshore has been the centrepiece of Palm Beach for more than 50 years. The beach has always been important to the local economy, as well with people socialising at surf clubs and nearby cafes and restaurants, while tourists spend their holidays in the apartments along the Gold Coast Highway. But Palm Beach has had its share of bad times as well over the past half a century. Most of us remember the erosion that exposed the boulder wall in 2009, but Palm Beach has regularly worn the brunt of coastal storms since 1967. That was the year old car bodies were thrown into the scarped dune areas to protect homes and units. As beautiful as today is, it's not like that all the time. History shows that Palm Beach is more susceptible to serious beach erosion than other foreshores. Council recognised that a holistic and ongoing management plan is the best way to ensure the beach lifestyle that Palmy offers is sustained now and into the future. Council is using the best minds in beach management to examine how Palm Beach functions, how it reacts to storms, and to also identify successful techniques protecting the beaches elsewhere around the world. It's also part of a Queensland Government directive for coastal councils to develop shoreline erosion management plans. There's a lot to do to make sure Palm Beach is sustainable for the future, but let's find out what's been learned so far. Some of the things that we've learnt through the development of the broader Gold Coast um, shoreline management plan and developing the Palm Beach shoreline project is, is the need to widen our beaches, to enhance the dunes, to, uh, to improve the buffer against storms, to look at the way we manage the dredging that is happening regularly at both Corumban and Tullabudgera Creek and to ensure that fits into a holistic approach to the whole of the Gold Coast shoreline processes. The Palm Beach shoreline project is addressing coastal beach processes from Corumban Rock, past Corumban Entrance onto Palm Beach and uh, Tullabudgera Creek Entrance as well up to Burley Headland. In the development of the project we've referenced a range of studies that have been undertaken in the past, in particular the, the DELF report which was written in the 1960s and they did a major coastal engineering study looking at solutions to erosion problems on the Gold Coast. The way the shoreline management plan has been developed, it's a holistic document looking at the whole of the Gold Coast. When you're looking at uh, rolling out a major uh, program of works that is covered by the Gold Coast shoreline management plan, you're looking for the areas that uh, need action first and Palm Beach is that area. So why is Palm Beach more susceptible to storms than other beaches? Palm Beach has a comparatively low beach volume index compared to the rest of the city's beaches. The BVI is an indicator of beach health, measuring how much sand a beach holds in the area between the boulder wall and the littoral zone. As seen in this example, Palm Beach is considerably unhealthy compared to Surface Paradise, which has benefited from a beach replenishment program. Put simply, the more sand there is, the more resilient the beach is to storms and the threat of erosion. If you let nature take its course, the sand will just continue moving north past the beach and back in from the sandbars. But every time you get hit with a big storm, the beach is going to be back at the uh, property alignment. So what we have to do in Palm Beach is build up the width of the beach. It's important that we take pride and community ownership of beaches like Palm Beach because they are fragile. Having a healthy beach that everyone can enjoy is an integral part of what it's like to live on the Gold Coast.
The main aim of the Palm Beach Shoreline Management Plan is to improve the health of the beach system. If we can get more sand in there, it actually provides additional protection for the properties, for the natural assets, and improves access. Overall, we're going to have a much healthier beach system. So what happens next? Well, the council is developing the Palm Beach Shoreline Project, a holistic plan that aims to provide a sustainable solution for the ongoing protection of Palmy's foreshores. Council will combine its world-recognised research compiled over 40 years with its current cutting-edge studies to make sure Palm Beach is sustainable now and into the future. In addition, subject matter experts with distinguished backgrounds in coastal management will be invited to review Council's reports and recommendations as part of a coordinated approach to this much-loved stretch of sand. The community will also be taken on a journey so they too understand why it's so important to have an integrated plan of management for Palm Beach.